Hello and welcome to Electrofox. Today I'm going to show you how to make and use the pinhole camera. The pinhole camera is one of the oldest forms of camera known. It is used simply by creating a tiny pinhole which creates what is known as a camera obscura projecting the image upside down in the back of the camera space. This is then used with positive film to create an image. These are the materials you need to make the camera. Starting off with a black sandwiched board and for the aperture you use a can, a piece of a can that's about one inch by one inch. You can get the special sandwiched board from a craft store. Next we're going to start by showing you the dimensions. The first one was the short section. This is the long section. Both of them are in inches. The first section is 5 inches. This long section is 10. Using a master copy we trace the edges on the black piece of a laminate board. You want to make sure that when you trace it, you trace it as close as possible to the master copy. Here you can clearly see the trace section on the board. Next we're going to put the parts where they're going to score the sections that are going to be bent into the box. As you can see here, these are where you place them in the intersection of the cross and also in the middle section of the long part of the cross. And that's where you're going to be scoring them to be bent into the box shape. Here's the lines again in case you got confused. As you can see, they're creating squares and those squares are going to be folded up into the box. Next, you want to cut it. Make sure to use a special tool such as this one so you can cut evenly. Make sure you're only cutting the outside edge of the cross. Next, we're going to put the tape down on the sections where it's going to bend. And these sections are right where you just put the lines that were there earlier as you can see on the corners I call it the intersection of the cross next we're going to carefully score where those lines are but do not go all the way through because it's going to rip the tape on the other side you want to make sure the tape on the other side is still intact so you can bend it That was the drilling of the hole for the aperture that goes on the head of the cross. Here's the box shape so you know what it looks like. Next, put the box together, taping the side so it retains its shape. And the one part that isn't taped is the lid, except for the hinge of the lid. Make sure that the inside is thoroughly taped so that way it doesn't hold any light because the light will absolutely ruin your film there can't be any light coming in and if you would like you can also tape the sides to make sure that there isn't any light coming in next we're going to use the one inch by one inch piece of can to make the aperture so we're going to place it on the inside of the hole and we're going to make sure that the decal is facing in and the shiny part is facing out. Now you tape down the square to make sure that the aperture is firmly in place. Next we're going to poke the hole in the exact center of the aperture. Now you want to make sure this hole is very, very small because the larger the hole, the more light that comes in. This is what the aperture looks like and this is how small the hole has to be for the pinhole camera. It's got to be very, very, very small. To make sure light doesn't come in the top, since we have the lid, you create a box cap that goes on top lid covering the cracks and making sure that the light doesn't come in. Next we put a piece of tape which acts as the shutter in front of the aperture which 
prevents the light from coming in so we can take the picture. Now I'm going to talk about the dark room and how you need to make sure you have the special red light that you can get at the photographic stores. When you're developing, you got to make sure that no extra outside light comes in. Also, there are three solutions that you need to use in the process, which I'll talk about in a minute. Any other light besides the red light will destroy your film. So when you're putting the film into the camera, you need to make sure it's in the dark room with no light and only that special red light on. This is the special positive film that you use for this camera. When you put it in, make sure the glossy side is facing towards the aperture and again in complete darkness. When you have your camera, make sure that it's steady on in front of the object. This one took 13 minutes. Make sure your camera is completely still. This is what that photo looked like after the development process occurred. Make sure you put the film through these three processes in the dark. The first one is the developer, the second one is the stopper, and the third one is the fixer. Only use these to develop your photo under the special photographic light. Now I'm showing you the chemicals up close and the mathematical equations used to create the mixtures for development. When you put the film in the developer solution, make sure it's in there for 35 seconds to a minute and a half, but no longer. When you put it into the stopper solution, make sure it's only in there for 10 seconds. Finally, put the film into the fixer solution for a minute. Afterwards, take it out and put it into water to rinse the chemicals out. Pictures say a thousand words and have fascinated people for decades. Thank you for watching this video on how to make and use the pinhole camera. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching Electrofox. This is an Electrofox production. Thank you.